All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to trace an object in your room using a simple little project I made. So we're going to be using the Vive controller and the trace points are going to come out of the back. That makes it easier for us to get in the corners and stuff. And we're going to be tracing this table over here. Um, it's the only object in my room I haven't traced and normally I don't use it when I'm uh, developing, but I figured it would make a good demonstration for this video. So to start off, Let's uh, let's get our scene up and running. So I'm just going to hit play, and you can see that my Steam controller is in the space. Um, the nice part about this is you don't even need to use your head mounted display for it. And so what you do is you basically go over here, and I'm just going to trace the edges of this table while holding down the trigger. And it's a pretty fast process, and there might be a little bit of noise due to tracking, but you'll be able to. Uh, really easily tell what's noise and what's not from the output in Unity. Alright, get my last edge there. And awesome. So that's our tabletop. And you can even, if you wanted, um, get a leg in for reference. I tend to not care about that, but there we go. So, now we've got our table in place. Now one thing that Unity is going to do, um, which is a little annoying, is it's not going to save any of these points we just dropped. So let's control C and copy them and then stop playing our scene. And I'm just going to press control V and get that back in there. Then uh, just for niceness I'm going to create an empty game object called bats and throw all these points in there. And then it's as simple as creating a primitive. We're going to use a cube because that kind of fits this shape best. And than just resizing it into our space. So what you kind of want to do is get this lined up with the, uh, with the edges of the dots. It's good to have them in the middle. So get that about the right height. All right, that seems to be a good height. And then we can uh, just scale this appropriately for our, for our uh, table here. So I might speed this part of the video up, but uh, overall it's a pretty fast process. If you're familiar with Unity and and how you edit shapes in there. Um, it should be pretty easy for you. The objective here is to sort of get these edges to cut through the middle of these of these circles. Alright, so let's raise it up a little bit. And voila. Alright, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and hide these dots and give our table a, a test run. Let me just throw this back a little better angle to see it on. Alright, so I'm going to hit play again. And where's my other little vibe controller? Oh, there it is. So now you can see that uh, that, that table's in the space. And I'm just going to walk over and see if it is good. Alright, awesome. So. Now you can see, you know, it's it's pretty good for how fast we did it. You know, going over these edges like this. And overall, really great way to just sort of frame out the space you're working in.